Hi, I'm Seth Wilson, IT Administrator for East Texas Lighthouse for the Blind. I also teach AppCamp. Today, I'll be showing you how to read web pages using Voice Dream Reader. Voice Dream Reader is like the Swiss Army knife of text-to-speech apps for iPhone and iPad. It can import text from a wide variety of sources and gives you access to a lot of different voices. Now, the app costs $9.99 on the App Store, but I think it's worth every penny. It's impossible to go through all the features in one video, so today I'll highlight one of the most important and most common uses, importing and reading a web page. Now once I open VoiceDream, I'm taken to my home screen, which shows content I've already installed, including a ebook version of To Kill a Mockingbird. Now if I want to add content, as you'd expect on most Apple apps, I do so by tapping the plus button, which in this app is located in the lower left-hand corner. By the way, this app is completely voiceover accessible, as you'd expect. And you'll see I can import from a variety of sources, and that's not even all of them. Today I'm going to tap on web browser, and within VoiceDream I'm taken to a small web browser window, and this is a fully functioning web browser. I can browse it using VoiceOver as I normally would, or pinch to zoom, all the usual features. Now if I find a web page that I want to save and have read to me, I can click the share button, or maybe a better word for it is export button, which is the common iOS 7 icon of an upward pointing arrow to just to the left of the address bar. Now I'm given a couple different ways I can save the web page. I can save every bit of text in the web page. Now this will save everything including menu bars and comments on blog posts and a lot of stuff that you might not want. So in most cases you're probably better off using Smart Save, which will try to strip out all of that extraneous material and just give you the main body of the article you're trying to read. And usually it does a pretty good job. Or if you're not ready to save a web page yet but want to come back to it, you can tap bookmark. I'm going to go ahead and tap smart save. Now this might take a second depending on the web page and you'll be notified that it's saved successfully. Now I can keep browsing and keep saving web pages. Once I'm done, tap done in the upper right hand corner of the browser window. And you'll notice that children's programs is now added to my home screen. When I tap on it, I'm taken to a mode that's reminiscent of Safari's reader mode. But you'll notice that down below I have playback controls. So I can tap play and start listening to this without voiceover. Children's programs. The Lighthouse's mission is to empower blind Americans through rehabilitation, education, training, and employment. And as I said at the beginning, if you don't like the voice or if you don't like the speed, all of that is highly customizable. So that's just one of the many features of Voice Dream Reader. We'll cover more in future AppCamp videos. Thanks for watching. You can find more AppCamp videos at our YouTube channel. You can like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Tyler Lighthouse or visit us at tylerlighthouse.org.